Hidden power rages through our planet, now made visible for the first time. Satellites scanning the Earth reveal the planet in unprecedented new detail. This is the Earth as a dynamic living organism. How nature's unseen forces interconnect in extraordinary ways. And ultimately, how they sustain life itself. This is how the world works as seen from space. Five hundred kilometers west of Africa, in the coastal waters of the Cape Verde Islands, fishermen are busy. Every few days, storms stir up nutrients from the deep, attracting great shoals of fish. The men and their families depend on these bountiful seas. A band of thunderclouds approaches. Fishermen must hurry to land their catch. It's the warmest time of year, and something extraordinary is occurring. An event which reveals just one part of a vast and ancient cycle that affects the whole world. It can only be seen using the latest technology from space. Seven hundred kilometers above, a supremely sensitive satellite called Aqua records a change in the water temperature. Aqua's infrared scanner detects that the ocean has reached 79 degrees Fahrenheit, a critical temperature. Seen here in yellow, warm seawater starts to evaporate fast. Vast areas of vapor suck the sun's heat from the ocean and transfer it to the air. Water's ability to transport energy will soon wreak havoc on the unsuspecting inhabitants of the southern United States. Aqua is just one of over a hundred satellites that are revolutionizing our understanding of the Earth. The satellites measure, record, and transmit terabytes of data every second. Now, this data can be used to build a unique digital portrait of the entire Earth in action for the first time. The Earth as one gigantic supersystem. Aqua's particular ability to track invisible water vapor reveals the sheer scale of just one part of this system, the interaction between the sun, the ocean, and the air. Although the fishermen can't see it, 180 tons of water rises upward every hour. 
It takes with it energy equivalent to the output of a small nuclear power station. One kilometer up, this vapor condenses into cloud and releases its heat. It raises the temperature of the surrounding air by several degrees. As the air heats up, it rises further, producing powerful vertical winds. These drive the clouds up to 15 kilometers high. As the storm cell grows, the effect of the Earth's rotation below forces it to spin. The thunderclouds merge into a vast circle. A hurricane is born. From high above, a hurricane is one of nature's great powerhouses. At any one moment, it's generating as much energy as the world's entire electrical output. Seen from the International Space Station, the hurricane crosses the Atlantic Ocean and enters the Gulf of Mexico where warmer water feeds this gargantuan storm. Humans are about to bear the brunt of the power of the sun on the ocean. unleashes its pent-up fury. Two hundred kilometer an hour winds twist steel like paper. Homes are ripped apart. the physical consequence of water's ability to store and release energy. In just 12 hours, the hurricane reshapes 600 square miles of Louisiana. Several hundred thousand people are displaced. The inhabitants might curse their misfortune, but the remarkable truth is that we all owe our lives to the process that produced the storm. A hurricane acts like a release valve when the ocean gets too warm. It helps balance the climate by redistributing the heat around the planet. This particular one cooled large swathes of the Atlantic by over four degrees Celsius, returning the ocean to equilibrium.
But even a Category 5 hurricane is just a tiny brushstroke in a much bigger picture. Our new technology, our eyes in space, are revealing how everything is interconnected on a planetary scale. It's these hidden connections that ultimately keep us alive.